And over the next couple of days, temperatures, as Dave said, are expected to take a dive, even hitting single digits on Christmas Eve, which is Saturday morning. Agencies all across the Piedmont Triad are preparing ahead of the winter weather, and they're encouraging local families to do the same. We are asking that people stay at home during the next few days during this cold weather. As if it hasn't been cold enough come Christmas, it's going to feel even more frigid outside. City with Dwellings, an organization working to end homelessness in our area, has already opened its warming shelters. Our nightly shelter that's targeted um, to serve our most vulnerable folks that are experiencing street homelessness has been open every night since December 15th, but our white flag shelter opened for the first time this past Sunday night and has actually been open every night this week. And we anticipate that being the case through at least Monday, if not Tuesday and Wednesday. Overnight shelters already reaching capacity as the temperatures continue to drop. Last night was the first night we've had to turn people away. Um, we had more folks than we were able to serve at White Flag. And so what we do with that is we've got some supplies that have been donated and like sleeping bags, tarps, and kind of just hot hands, anything that can make it a little bit more bearable for someone to be outside. The American Red Cross is asking people to stay home, but if you absolutely have to travel, the organization urges you to be prepared. Um, if you do have to travel for any reason, we're asking that you travel with one of those travel kits, which include bottled water, blankets, extra clothing, some snacks, just in case you do get stranded. Agencies across our area are ready to respond to meet the needs of families during this cold snap your power could go out during this time. That's why it's so important to have those safety kits at home. You also just want to have a safety plan uh, in place just in case. And the American Red Cross sees an increase in fires this time of year, and it is asking if you are using any space heaters to make sure they're at least three feet from anything that could catch fire. City with Dwellings will have its community first center open this Friday from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m., and then it will reopen Saturday morning at 6.30 a.m. with the same kind of schedule on Sunday as well.